So what I want you to do is just rub him here. So get your fingers and rub him here. Ah. Okay, just to, that's it. And just give a scratch here. It's the Mitavite Dressage Festival at Thornlands and this little Shetland pony is the guest of honour. He seems to be enjoying the attention. Lots of treats and lots of pats. No sign now that he was the victim of an act of cruelty that shocked animal lovers all over Australia. It was Christmas Day and an RSPCA Queensland inspector was called to assist a pony that had been roped and dragged behind a car at Murphy's Creek. His injuries were horrific and he was in a lot of pain. But he was also very brave. RSPCA staff decided to call him Elf. Elf basically had four different problems and I think it's fair to say that in any other horse either one of those problems could have actually led to its demise. He had abrasion wounds to eight different joints and those abrasions had gone right through the skin and the joint capsule and actually exposed the joints themselves. Perhaps worst of all the soles of both his hind feet had basically been torn off right to the very bone and he then developed a severe case of laminitis plus on top of all this of course he was suffering from shock severe shock unbelievably and to this day we really don't know how apart from the will of Elf himself and the uh, the care that he received at the Redlands Veterinary Clinic and from the RSPCA before that incredibly little Elf pulled through Plus the fact that the muscle damage of being dragged and then falling into a ditch at the end. Elf eventually went into foster care with Jill Strawn, who runs a charity called, wait for it, Elf. Equine Learning for Futures, which teaches disadvantaged and troubled children empathy and responsibility through working with horses. When the vets were confident Elf really would recover, Jill adopted him, and this is his first public appearance. And I've adopted him through the RSPCA, and his job's going to be a mascot, a mascot for kids to learn about horsemanship skills, and hopefully they will end up being adults that don't drag ponies behind cars in the future. And he's here today at the Dressage Festival, meeting a lot of people, talk, well, I'm talking about the, the need for minimum sentencing for animal cruelty cases. Um, there's a lot of dissatisfaction with what happened with Elf, but um, he's having a great job. He's been out here for a couple of hours now and he's still very happy to, to be around and get fed and, and have lots of pats from everyone. Much to the horror of horse lovers, the perpetrators escaped with little more than a slap on the wrist. 17-year-old Zachary Hudson was put on probation for two years, while his father, Christopher Cook, was sentenced to three months' imprisonment, suspended for two years. It's hard to know if Elf remembers the incident or the weeks of pain that followed. Either way, his life today could not be more different. <laughs>